The MAP Project is a group of um, interdisciplinary artists exploring mind, action, and personality uh, through primarily the documentation of ourselves using video cameras. By recreating our own past moments on stage, we are forced to recreate ourselves over and over again. Scenes become dated as soon as they're written down. We tread between improvisation and script, between reality theater and a new literal form of realism. We're getting increasingly interested in where culture ends and the individual person begins. Uh, I was about to get my first dog. A big landmark in a young person's life, of course. Your first pet, big thing. And I had written in my diary the entire monologue from Lassie. I ended my diary entry with, I think I'm going to call him Lassie. It's these breaks in one's, in one's life, in one's psyche, where a movie or a TV show or something you've heard or seen that you admire or hate becomes part of you. You speak your own thoughts and feelings through these, through these words and ways that you have learnt, that you've seen, that you've watched. Does it go the other way? How is television made? How is music made? How are movies made if not in through the eye of the beholder? Art is created from life and life is accelerating so quickly that life is made through art. The performers on stage forced to relive again and again and again the words that they've said, or is it the words that their friend said, or are they the words that they just heard in a song, or watched on TV, streamed through the internet? For Yourself follows the narrative structure of The Wizard of Oz, the most magical Hollywood happening, I think, ever. Searching, wanting, desiring, wanting a head, a heart, and courage. I think watching is the thing. The eye of the camera, which seems to be not just on celebrities these days, but on all of us can hardly get home from a night out before there's already pictures of you online doing what you just did an hour and a half ago. It's instantaneous.